What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So just like the title says in today's video, I'm gonna be installing a Ram Daytona spoiler on my Daytona Ram. So basically, since I got the truck, I've been scouring the internet, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Let Go, you name it, looking for an OEM Daytona spoiler. Uh, the reason why I wanted to go with an OEM spoiler versus an aftermarket one was basically fitment and finish uh, issues that the aftermarket ones have versus the OEM one. Now, on Facebook Marketplace, uh, somebody asked if anybody was selling a Daytona spoiler and somebody offered one up for sale and he didn't buy it. So I DM'd the guy and messaged him and I was like, hey man, you got pictures of the spoiler? Um, you know, I'm ready to buy it. And it was pretty much, well, it actually is in like perfect condition. Uh, the person who sold it to me actually took it off their Daytona Ram back in 2005 and then threw it in their storage because they didn't want to use it. So when he sent me pictures, I saw it, I was like, gotta have it, looks great. So I picked it up and basically I'm gonna show you guys the spoiler and then I'm gonna go outside and uh, install it. So if you guys wanna know how to install a uh, Daytona spoiler, this is gonna be for an OEM spoiler. Um, I'm not sure how aftermarket spoilers are installed. So let's take a look at the spoiler and then we'll go out to the truck and start installing it. All right guys, so here's the spoiler. I got it in my office area uh, inside the house. And as you can see, it looks absolutely perfect. Maybe a little scuff, it might just be dirt. But overall, I mean, even the color of it, it's not faded. It's in really good condition. These have that little lip right up here. And then let me see if I can just turn it on its back real quick. There we go. It still has this foam pad and you can see where the screw goes in there. This is what I think helps keep it from flying off. And it's got some slots right underneath. See underneath, it's really clean. A little dirt, nothing too crazy. So now let's go outside and uh, line it up. All right, so I got the spoiler up on the bed of the truck. Put this down so the bed liner wouldn't scratch the spoiler. Wanted to point out again, so that's one screw hole. And then you've got this wire. I'll show you where that goes. Now this part's actually really important um, because the Daytona's had sort of a nipple right here where it would slot into that and then you would push the spoiler forward. And then as I mentioned in my last video, I had to drill out these holes. I did that like last week. So this front hole is actually for this hole right here. And this back hole is where the nipple goes. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out because when they bed lined this truck, the nipple's gone, they shaved it down. And you can kind of actually see where it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can put maybe a rib nut in this bottom side, that way I can put a screw in it. I also gotta find some hardware for that real quick. Let's see what I can find. Alrighty, so I found some hardware I had lying around in the garage. Instead of doing a rib nut, because they actually didn't fit, I just took one of these screws that I had and they came in this little package. Same stuff I use for the front splitter on the Challenger actually. So, they're paying off now. So I just used these, picked up the nuts already in here. I got this at Lowe's. And I'm going to, if they just slide right in, I'm going to put a locking washer and of course the nut and a little Loctite and I'm going to drill the holes right around here once I measure it out. The other thing is, it's kind of hard to get in there on this back end right here. So what I'm using is the 7 16 ratchet wrench and I'm just snaking it in right through here and I'll be able to reach and tighten it up right there. So let me go ahead and start. Oh, and then I found these, these bolts right here, and those are gonna go right there. So they fit. So if you guys work on your cars, you always know save all your bolts and nuts because you never know when you're gonna use them. All right, so I got kind of lucky because I could see that it was soft and I just really pushed my drill hit it one time and then it went all the way through. So as you can see, the screw I chose goes right in. And the same thing for this spot right here. So it kind of took all the guesswork out of it. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is, again, mount those uh, screws in there and then uh, put the nuts underneath it. Now for the wire, I'm not sure if this is right. So for you Daytona folks that have a Daytona, please let me know. You can just send me a message on Instagram at Toronto Racing. Um, so I just fished it through and the way I got it through was doing the whole uh, zip tie trick. I tied this at the end of that so I can fish the end of the zip tie through so I can pull it through. Um, but yeah, 
that's basically what I just did. So now I'm going to go ahead and screw and fasten the spoiler onto its permanent home. All right, so that took a little longer than expected, but I got it on there and then across the street, they started mowing the yard. So you can't really hear what I was saying on the video. So here I am shooting it again. So I got the spoiler on the car, on the car, I got the spoiler on the truck and it looks so much better. Now my only complaint is that the stickers are so faded that it doesn't look as good. Maybe you can see that in the video right there. So pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna replace those stickers because they just don't match up with that spoiler. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a walk around because that spoiler is just so iconic to the Daytonas, uh, especially the Rams, because you just don't see it. And then when you start looking at the lineage of uh, Dodge and the Daytonas, you know, they got the big Daytona spoiler. So that piece was definitely missing on the truck. And now that it's on there, I like love the truck 10 times more. So let me go ahead and show you guys up close. All right, so we got the missing piece, the spoiler for the Daytona. Now what I was talking about, and I hope it shows up on camera, but the spoiler is in such good shape and it's so rich and black that when you look at the sticker, it just, it doesn't do it, it's justice anymore. So I think I am going to go ahead, purchase these decals, probably hit up my boy Hish, get them put back on, because um, I just can't stand the, the difference in tone. Now I thought the bed liner was going to cause some issues, but it really did it. So I'm really happy about that. Everything lines up. If you look at the shape of the spoiler, how it starts tapering on towards the inside right here, everything looks really good. I love how the top of the spoiler has this tiny little lip too. It's more of a sporty look, so I really like that. Again, the spoiler runs along the top of the bed right here, tapers in nice and smooth. Everything looks really good. I've got a couple little scratches on both ends over there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that with maybe a Sharpie or something because there's really no sense of repainting the whole thing right now. Um, still haven't found uh, well, I have found new tail lights, but I just haven't replaced them yet. So the next thing on the list is actually the uh, running boards I got with LKQ and I found some and they came in and they were no good. So they got a second set coming in. Hopefully they are in good shape and I can get them put on the truck. But again, today's focus of the video is the Daytona spoiler. Just think it changes the entire look. It is super iconic and it definitely uh, ties in the rest of the truck like it should. Wow, guys. I think summer is officially here because it is so hot outside today. This morning I thought it was a nice breeze and it was cool when I left the gym. Thank God for the gyms opening back up. And I was like, okay, today's gonna be a really good day to install the spoiler. It's not too bad. And then I go out there and like five minutes in I start sweating. But um, look at that spoiler back there. It just looks so dang cool. I love it. Um, but today's video, short and sweet, just kind of installing the spoiler, nothing too crazy. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and watching the uh, progress of the uh, Ram Daytona. Uh, there's still so much more I want to do with this truck like I outlined in the first video. Um, but sort of just taking my time because I'm trying to find those really hard parts such as that spoiler and the side steps and the missing uh, body kit pieces. So once I get all the hard stuff out the way, stuff like the interior, the headliner and the seats, like that's all really easy stuff compared to all the, you know, special edition uh, body clad molding and spoilers. So I have been collecting all those pieces. The other thing I've been collecting is parts to sort of redo the front suspension. A lot of these parts are worn out on this truck. So if you guys want to know how to do uh, upper control arms, uh, wheel bearings, I will be doing all that very soon. Just finishing collecting up some of the parts and setting aside the time to get these things done. So again, thank you guys for watching these videos and thanks again for all the positive reinforcement. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you love this video, hit that subscribe button. And let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the comments below. And until next time guys, peace out.